It is the end of an era. This is a really hard video to make because I'm going to have to get rid of some of my math books. And you might be thinking, they're just math books. But to me, these are more than math books. I've been collecting books for over two decades. Now, I'm not gonna get rid of all my books. I'm gonna keep you know, the first books I purchased, the ones I bought many, many years ago, the ones I really, really love. But I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of really good ones. And I don't really have a choice. I mean, I, I could keep them, but it's very expensive. And the reason is I'm gonna be traveling, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in this video because that means something really good for the channel. I want to emphasize that I'm going to continue to make book reviews. I'm not selling all my books. I'm going to keep a lot of really good books and in many cases I have multiple copies of the same book. So it's just too much to take with me. You know, if I'm on the road, if I'm traveling, if I'm, if I'm going somewhere and I have all of these boxes that's really expensive. I mean, every single one of these boxes is filled or almost filled with math books, science books, and some other random books. But it's mostly, I would say, 99% mathematics books. So I'm going to have to get rid of them. So I was thinking, what's the best way to get rid of my math books? You might be thinking, well, I could give them away, but I paid a lot of money for some of these books and I've been collecting for over two decades. Also, giving them away costs money, right? Shipping costs money. If I send someone a book, I have to pay for that. Uh, several years ago, I had a subscriber from India and he left a comment and he wanted me to send him a book. And so I did, but it ended up costing me quite a bit of money uh, just to send him the math book and it just didn't seem worth it because I was losing money and losing the book, so it's not good. But this person did get the book, so that is good. So what I plan on doing is creating an eBay store, or an eBay account, and I'll leave a link in the description of this video, and you can check that store, and I'm gonna sell all my books. I'm gonna start them at one penny. One penny, and I'll throw in some, some costs for shipping, and I think that will give people the opportunity to perhaps pick up a lot of these books from my collection and you can have them in your collection. You can start learning math with these same books. So check out the link in the description for some books. Now I'm not going to list all the books right away. I'm just going to list a few. But as I list more books, my plan is to create a video for each book. So when I post a video, you know, if you see something in the title about my, my collection, you'll know it's one of the books that I'm getting rid of. And you can bid on it if you want to or not. And I'll also leave a link in case you want to buy it somewhere else if I can find one. But I'm going to get rid of them, right? And it's really, really sad. It's really, really sad. If you're wondering where I'm traveling, well, that has to do with the channel. In fact, it's directly related to this channel. In September, which is, which is coming up, I got in contact with a famous mathematician and he replied right away, this guy is great, I really like him and if he's watching my video, hello, I'll see you in a, I'll see you in a month <laughs> or a little bit over a month and uh, we're going to just do like a short interview, informal and he is someone who also travels and talks about mathematics, so yeah, pretty cool. My plan is to travel and visit different university libraries. Because if you think about it, who has more books than I do, right? Maybe some other collector out there in the world. I'm, I'm sure there's someone out there who is as crazy and obsessed as I am who has tons of math books. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. But university libraries have a lot of books, right? Now, you can't just take them and keep them, but sometimes you can check them out or you can go to the library and read them. So I plan to do a lot more of that and maybe review books I find in random university libraries all over the world and maybe do a couple more interviews with mathematicians and things like that. So try to take the channel to, you know, the next level. Continue with the book reviews, continue with everything, just add a little bit more. But 
unfortunately, that means that, you know, I have to, I have to downsize my collection. And, you know, I started last night. Last night I, I opened one of the boxes. I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this. I, I can't take all these books with me. It's too many. And the first book I pulled out was a signed copy of the Wizard Book. It's this, this famous book in the computer science community, if you know what I'm talking about, the Wizard Book. So my copy is signed uh, by one of the authors. And I thought, oh no, God, I just, I just got really sad. So I put it down and I picked up another book. It was a book by Courant. And it wasn't signed by Courant, but it was signed by a famous mathematician, apparently, who knew Courant. And there was like some relationship there. Again, there's just a story behind every book. I feel like every math book has some kind of unique story. And as a collector, um, that's one of the reasons I collect math books, not just because I like math. You know, I collect other things too, Magic the Gathering cards, coins. So I might list some of those as well, but it's mostly gonna be the books I have. And, and don't think I'm gonna be just getting rid of my worst books, which, which is my goal, right? To get rid of my worst books, the ones I really don't want. But the problem is I want most of them. So again, it's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna have to give up, give up a lot. So check it out if, if you want to get some math books. This is an opportunity to get them for one penny. Well, the bidding is going to start at a penny, right? I used to sell on eBay many, many years ago. So I feel like starting at a penny gives everyone a good shot. You know, you never know. Maybe no one else will bid on some random book from 1952 that no one in the world cares about but you because you're watching this video. So, and me, because I bought the book. So yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, and I'm gonna do it. You know, if, if I post this video, then that means in the description of this video, you're gonna see those videos on, uh, those, those books on eBay and you, and you can bid on them. But uh, I'm, ha I'm having a really hard time with it. I'm having uh, a very, very hard time, very hard time. Because storing all these books, you know, costs a lot of money. And if they're sitting in storage, how does that help anyone in the world, right? So I'm gonna take some with me and put the rest on eBay for a penny a piece and see what happens. One of my biggest fears, not just, you know, besides losing my math books, which is the, the worst thing is having to get rid of my math books, is that a lot of the books they'll sell for a penny. <laughs> so I'll be just, I'll be, you know, I'll probably lose money selling the math books, right? Uh, because that's how it works. You have eBay fees, you have shipping. I've sold on eBay, it's very expensive, but it's okay, you know, it's, it's cheaper than giving them away, right? Because if I said, hey, I'm gonna take each of these math books and I'm just gonna give them away, which I, there's rules about that on eBay, but let's just say I decided to do that, then I have to pay for the shipping costs to send them to everyone else, right? So. I feel like a good compromise is list them for one penny. Doesn't matter what book it is. Doesn't matter if it's, I don't even wanna say it, Advanced Calculus by Woods, which is a super rare book that Richard Feynman used and I have an original copy. List it for a penny and then just, I hope someone bids. And if not, then some random person who hopefully knows some advanced calculus or cares enough about math to open the book and read it or at least give it a whiff and give it a good smell, you know. I've got books on every subject, okay? Free algebra, algebra, trig, pre-calc, calculus, advanced calculus, topology, complex analysis, number theory, piecewise linear topology. I have books that have research papers in them, number theory. I have books from other countries. I have translated books. I have a huge collection of books published in the Soviet Union by Mir Publishers Moscow. Those are really rare. I those are expensive, but I'm gonna list them for a penny. And those are the ones I paid more money for. Those are, those are never cheap. But I'm gonna list them for a penny and see what happens. And it's, again, the pain, the, the worst part about this for me personally is not the fact that I might lose money selling my books, because it's, it's a big reality, right? I don't think there's a big market for math books, but they're my books, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them away or get, sell them, you know? They're gonna be gone. I'm not gonna have them anymore, so. Yeah, hard video to make, everyone. So yeah, if you made it this far, um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of my books. Some of the books, by the way, I have some books. I don't know if I, if you know this, if you've seen my videos, uh, that I picked up from a collection, from, from, from a private collection. 
uh, from a nuclear physicist. I'm going to be selling those books as well. Those belong to a man named Augustus Prince. He was a nuclear uh, scientist at a government lab. And he was also the first black radar man in the Navy. Random fact. And I have a big uh, portion of his collection. And those are mostly very advanced physics books. So I'll also be, I'll also be selling those. But. So I guess after I make this video, uh, I'll post it. And I'll start taking some books out of these boxes. Take some pictures, put them on eBay. And there you have it, the end of an era. Yeah, it's tough, it's tough. I gotta get some water here, just, it's tough. But you know, they're just things, they're just possessions. But to me, you know, math books are very special. So I'm gonna keep my favorite ones and hopefully someone out there can, can learn from these books, you know, just as much as I did and can appreciate them and give them a good home and all of that stuff. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, subscribe if you want all that stuff. Check out my courses, you know, uh, they're on my website. They're on Udemy, but you can use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. So yeah, take care. As always, keep doing mathematics. Oh, and look out for my other videos. Again, before I list my other books in the future, I will make a little video for each book and post it on the channel. Also, 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 before I forget, another thing I might do, I haven't decided, because I have so many books, it would probably take me years to sell them all. So I'm going to sell them by the box as well. So I'm gonna sell like boxes of, of books and little sets that you can pick up from my personal collection, so yeah. And I guess I'll start those at a penny too with, with the shipping cost. Those boxes are expensive to ship, but Anyways, enough about the books I'm selling and getting rid of. It's really, really sad, but I have to do it, right? I have to do it. I can't, I, I can't, I can't go anywhere. I can't move. I can't travel with this many books. It's too many. It's gotten ridiculous. It really has. In fact, let, let me show you, let me show you how many books I actually have. So let's, let's take a look now. All right. I just want to show you so you can see, look at this. Look at all these books. I have books here. All of these boxes have books. Every single box is filled with books. Look, there's boxes on top of boxes, right? So each box has probably like, I don't know. I mean, look at this box here. Look how many books were in this box. It's completely insane, right? And all of these boxes have books. I can't even, I can't even pick them up. They're so heavy, right? They're just filled with math books. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these and hopefully they find a good home. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.